match fixing has become a serious threat to the game and calls for unity of the entire football system. This short video details what you need to know about match fixing as a player, coach, match official or administrator. Match fixing is the act of improperly influencing the result or course of a match for advantage. There are two motivations for match fixing. The first is future team advantage, where two or more teams agree to achieve a desired result in a match for reasons such as avoiding relegation, advancement within or to a higher level competition. The second and more prevalent motivation is financial gain, which predominantly involves crime syndicates persuading players team officials or referees to ensure desired outcomes such as losing by multiple goals or an accurate scoreline at half or full time, goalless draw among others. There is no end to criminal innovation. So how does it work? Let's look at one example. Match fixer John gains direct access to player Tom, coach Dick and referee Harry at a local restaurant. He gets to know them and becomes closer after several meetings by treating them to various favors. Once John has gained their confidence, he convinces player Tom, coach Dick and referee Harry to fix certain matches as required in return for more money and favors. As the fix is performed on the pitch, John's accomplices place bets online or by phone to legal and illegal bookmakers. For every successful fix, a share of the winnings is distributed to all those involved. However, they all forget that these matches are vigilantly monitored by AFC and its partners to detect suspicious betting patterns as well as behaviors on and off the pitch. With sufficient evidence against them, player Tom, coach Dick and referee Harry face consequences which potentially include a life ban from any future involvement in football, in other words, a red card for life, heavy fines, imprisonment, legal action to recover damages, being labelled a national disgrace and becoming a source of immeasurable shame and stress for their family. So how could player Tom, coach Dick and referee Harry have prevented all this from happening? The answer is simple. Just like you, they need to remember the three R's. Recognize, reject and report. John asks Tom, Dick and Harry to do several questionable acts on the field during their match in exchange for gifts and money. They should recognize that they have been approached by a match fixer. Tom, Dick and Harry must then say no and reject the offer made by match fixer John to avoid consequences. Finally, Tom, Dick and Harry should report the matter and all relevant information immediately to AFC, integrity at theafc.com and or the integrity officer at their football association. Grab a copy of the Match Fixing Booklet for further details. It is also downloadable from www.theafc.com. Please remember that under AFC regulations, you commit a disciplinary offence if you fix or even attempt to fix a match or competition, get involved in betting connected to football, Reveal confidential information to jeopardize the integrity of a match. Fail to report any approach or information linked to match fixing. The AFC vigilantly monitors all and stands by a zero tolerance policy on match fixing. Match fixers usually belong to dangerous crime syndicates that will never forget you once you fix for them and in doing so, become part of organized crime yourself. They have the potential to hurt you. 
So value the spirit of fairness and protect yourself as well as your beloved sport.